Well, Alex, uh, first of all, congratulations on another baby. Um, so how is, how is life now after post Yaya Rodriguez? You're another, you're a new dad once again. You had, did you have surgery yet? Or did you? Were yeah, you I had, I had surgery. Uh, ooh, it's loud. I had surgery pretty much straight away. So I, uh, I literally got home and then got the surgery like the, the next day. So uh, being a, as I, I'm a professional, so I'm always uh, training. But yeah, new bubs, um, you know, uh, it's been great. You know, mum and bubs are really well. The kids are absolutely loving it. So she's perfect and uh, very happy. So what's next for you in terms of your fight career? Because obviously a lot of people thought if Al Jermaine had been Sean O'Malley, he might move up to challenge you. That obviously didn't happen. You yourself said probably not going to happen. So in terms of your fight career, what are you looking at next? Um, yeah, well, you know, obviously there's uh, you've got the, the Ilya fight. That's uh, always going to be there. You've got that rematch that I want. I want to be active. Uh, obviously Islam and Charles are going at it soon. So, uh, you know, I don't want to be uh, waiting around. So I'll uh, do... Yeah, early next year, I think. Uh, I wanted, I wanted this year, but I just think the schedules are just not going to be able to fit me in. I, th I think there's a few champions that need to be fighting, which is fair. But I would have been happy to get one in this year. I, I really want a free this year, but it's uh, not looking uh, likely. But early next year, we'll get it in, and then hopefully uh, another one not too long after that. Do you think Ilya would probably be the most realistic uh, opponent for you next, considering Justin Gagey seems to be under the impression yep. that he's going to be fighting for the lightweight title next? Yeah, yeah, most likely. And again, I want to be active anyway, right. so I don't want to be waiting around. That's uh, I guess that's one beautiful thing uh, uh, about me. Like uh, at the end of the day, rather than me waiting for a title shot anyway, keep me keep me busy. I'll fight. You know, what I mean, it's not like I'm looking past my opponent, but I got full confidence in uh, me doing my work uh, uh, in that featherweight division with Ilya. Uh, again, he's tough, durable, but I'll sh I'll just keep showing that I'm on a whole other level. And then uh, then I got, I got that fight. I think uh, I'm being told uh, Is Islam wants to be very active. So as long as the schedule still fits the same for me. I don't really care too much. So in terms of Ilya, what do you make of your skill set in there? Oh yeah, man, look good. Good skill set. You know what I mean? Does uh, a lot of things uh, right. Like he's, he's neat, but yeah, I, I just believe you need to have uh, more than that with someone like me. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, so I, I think uh, I'm just going to show that I'm, I'm, I'm too much uh, come fight time. Well, you unique preparing for an opponent that you can look at eye to eye rather than fighting <laughs> up. As, a, as we did a face off, I thought he'd be bigger. So I was like, uh, I'm like, oh, I thought you'd be taller, mate. Um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, look at look how much uh, taller people struggle with my my range. Uh, you know what I mean? Here I am, the short guy, and people are struggling uh, to touch me. So, you know, it ain't gonna be easy for him. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm I'm really looking forward to that one because I know you know it's exciting. He will talk. He loves to talk. Uh, so hopefully that gets people excited. Um, yeah. So you know he doesn't mind. Uh, he gets some finishes and that as well. So I think people don't mind watching him fight. Um, and that's yeah. So that's good. So let him talk. Keep it interesting, then I'll punch him in the face. And last one for me, I'm sh I, I don't know if you heard, but Israel said that he wouldn't mind headlining UFC 300, but he would actually take the co-main event if the UFC offered you the main event. He thinks you should main event over him. Yeah. A, a lighter weight class is usually the one below the heavier yeah. one. So what do you make of think? What do you think of Israel saying that he would succeed the main event to you? I mean, obviously, I'd love that, but uh, I'd be more than happy to obviously co-main for him as well. So uh, yeah, well, obviously we're very close. We're like brothers, and you know he's uh, that, that's what he's like. You know, he's uh, he's not selfish, um, and uh, neither am I. So uh, we're both in the same boat there, but uh, nothing but love for, for my man. But uh, that's something that we definitely uh, want to do, you know what I mean? So, so yeah, there's a, there's a few things that, that are there. And again, we all want to be active. So where, where that is, International Fight Week, we want, we want all them uh, fights. Keep me, keep me busy. Hey, Alex. Um, do you feel like that Islam rematch might be like the perfect UFC 300 fight, champion versus champion? That just seems like it's kind of written in the stars a little bit. I mean, I think so. You know what I mean? I think that uh, makes makes a lot of sense. Uh, yeah, for sure. You know, uh, I think that that would be great, uh, especially with uh, me getting my hand raised on that one for UFC 300 would be perfect. But uh, again, we'll see, what, see what, what we can do. But I think that's... Uh, one of the bigger fights that you can make. I truly do believe that. A lot of people want to see it again. Um, you know, it's very, very competitive. And yeah, uh, you know, uh, I guarantee you as I get it done uh, next time. And you always mention, you know, you want to see these featherweights do work and people show you something. Has there been anyone recently or anyone that you're seeing right now outside of Ilya that's doing anything that's impressive? I mean, there's a very, very, you know, uh, stacked division. There's a lot of good talent in there, but I guess there's no one uh, really knocking on the door right now, except for Ilya. So, uh, and I want that one, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, there's probably been other people that uh, have done more work to, to get a title shot, but, you know, we're starting to run out of, run out of guys. So, uh, you know, and then he's, uh, he's on a tee, he's undefeated. Um, he likes to talk. Uh, he's got a big following over there in uh, Spain and Europe. So people want to see it. And, 
I want to see it. I can't wait to take that zero. Yeah, Where did you think of Max's win over the Korean Zombie? Oh, mate, yeah, great, great fight. You know, I thought Z Zombie, uh, you know, they both uh, look great, but I thought Zombie, you know, for his uh, last fight, yeah, a lot of people thinking that, that he's done, but I thought he looked uh, very dangerous, looked great in that first round. Um, yeah, so like, uh, I think even Max, I think I might have heard Max talking about it. He goes, oh shit, he was a lot faster than I expected. Um, I think a lot of people watch fights, you know what I mean, especially with me, and like, you know, they might be like, oh yeah, he's a, he's a bit slower now, you know, he's aging and all that, but I just think it's timing, footwork that, that makes me, you know, I can make people look like that purely with uh, the work I do. And uh, I think I'm going to be doing the exact same with uh, Ilya. Yeah, and you, obviously Max's goal should be trying to get a title shot, fight the best, whatever, but you hear Dana, he was pretty firm in being like, not interested in a fourth fight. Mm. Um, did, did you like to hear that, just so you don't have to continue to be bothered with that idea? I, I mean, I'm not surprised, you know. I mean, it doesn't, you know, uh, especially after... Look, he's doing great. I mean, he's, he's stuck in a pretty shitty situation. You know, he's uh, clearly that good, uh, you know, clearly good enough to be fighting for a title again, but it just doesn't make sense w when you're 3-0 you're, you're and against a guy, and especially after the last one. So it's going to be a hard sell. Um, so I'm not surprised, but... You know, I, I would, I'll have a good uh, chat with uh, Dana while we're here, you know, obviously. Um, you know, even him saying, like, you know, he was up on stage saying that, you know, pretty much give Alex what he wants, you know, show my appreciation. I'm, I'm in that position now. So, uh, yeah, I appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, and again, it doesn't make sense. So I'm not surprised with that. Alex, obviously Ilya seems to be next, right? But do you think there'll ever be a point where you kind of run out of people in the division and you're just... You've almost outgrown it and you'll just have to move up to lightweight properly? Uh, yeah, I mean, like, the, obviously we're having conversations. I want to be active, you know. I do want to do the whole two-division keep-busy thing. Um, it is tricky, but, uh, yeah, I mean, there's so many good fights at lightweight as well. So, you know, I mean, there's, like, so many and it's such a stacked division. Um, so maybe, maybe it can keep me busy enough if there's nothing at featherweight. But, I mean, you know, who knows, in uh, a few months... There could be someone else knocking on the door and, you know, I'm going to want to stay for that because uh, yeah, whatever excites me, is, I'll be there for it. Again, I want, to, I want to do as, you know, as well as I can. I want to leave a legacy behind. I'm obviously pound for pound being champ, you know, defending multiple times. I wouldn't mind defending a few more. Um, but again, it's got to be the right fights. Right now, it's, uh, yeah, I'm trying to just toss things together. What do I want? Do I want to hit that many defences? Or do I want to just, you know, while I'm in my prime, do I just want to get the biggest and best fights I can, get that uh, second belt, uh, you fight lightweight, you know what I mean? It's a, a, a lot of options for me, which is a good thing. Uh, but we'll just see what, see what happens, see what plays out. Based on your performance against Islam and how great it was, how much better do you think you could be at lightweight if you just dedicated yourself to it? Like, okay, this is my new frame and this is my new division. I mean, you won't see me uh, change too much uh, weight, to be honest. Like, uh, I move best and I'm strong enough for the, the lightweights even at the weight I am. And I've proved that, you know what I mean? I proved that against the, probably the strongest and the, the best grappler, wrestler that there is in that division. So I, I've showed, it, showed and I've proved. So I, I want to be sharp, I want to be fast um, in that division. So, you know, I'll... Uh, I've been undersized my whole life, man, and it's never, never been a problem for me. And um, I think that'll just add to the story. So I'll try and look as small as I can to make the victory look as big as it can be. <laughs> Going on the, uh, back to the Ilya fight, there's something about when you talk about him, I kind of get the sense that you're like really kind of excited for that one, you know? Obviously he, yep. he talks a bit of shit and he got in your face uh, after your mm -hmm. last fight. Is there something about him as a person that you're looking forward to fighting? Or is I mean, there something about his style that you're looking forward to fighting? He's undefeated. Um, you know, you, he again, he's got a big following over there in, uh, you know, in Spain. And uh, again, yeah, he's undefeated. He's, uh, he's on a tear. He, he beat a, a guy that w was up there. So, and he's pretty much clearly the next guy. So that excites me itself. And then he likes, you know, he doesn't mind talking. He doesn't mind getting in people's faces and keeps things exciting. Because sometimes it is like that. You've got to find things. I'm good at it. I'm good at finding ways to get me excited. So with Yer Rodriguez, you know, I just try to, all right, so I could... I don't need to be motivated uh, to train, but I wanted to find something that was going to keep me excited and, and, you know, really, really give me something through camp. And I looked at it, all right, he's dangerous, you know, so I found a way to, way to really, really get me up in the morning. With this one, I don't need to try and look for anything. He's going to talk his shit, and I love it. And I get, you know, the best part about it, we're in a sport where you can make someone pay for it. So uh, I can't wait. Uh, Volk, just over, Volk, just over here. Yep. Um, Kevin Giuseppe making his UFC debut tonight um, is obviously a big thing. Um, you're a guy who's been a part of Australian MMA for over mm -hmm. a decade now. Um, and I just want to get your thoughts on the growth of the sport here in Australia and, and sort of how pleasing that is for you to see. Oh, mate, it's unreal. Uh, as soon as they did the deal here in Sydney and uh, like even the... 
Mate, like the, the numbers we are doing here in Australia, like uh, we're one of the biggest markets they have, have in the, the US, in the world right now. Like we're right up there, especially pound for pound for our smaller countries. And, uh, you know, we're showing you that. That's why they, they keep bringing uh, pay-per-views here and we do this deal we did. But look at the opportunities for these talented. Like, mate, I go to amateur shows now and I'm blown away of how, how good um, the Australian uh, fight scene is. Yeah. It's incredible. So you're going to be seeing champions and top contenders, top fighters coming from Australia. Now we've got the opportunity for these guys to take late notice fights, step in, get a contract, um, set a statement, and then uh, roll on that uh, their, their, their career through uh, the UFC. And just last one from me. Um, you're in the crowd, obviously, this time around compared to, to Perth. Um, with, the, with the UFC coming to Sydney three times over the next four years, is the next Sydney card something you need your name a part of? Oh, of course, you know what I mean? Uh, that's why we needed, a, you know, myself or Easy Headline and uh, this card. Like, you know, if, we're gonna, if there's going to be... Cards over here on this side of the world, you need to have one of us fighting. So, uh, you know, I'm glad he got that. He really wanted to fight here. Like, obviously, we didn't want uh, anyone else coming here and defending belts or anything uh, here uh, on our part of the world. So uh, I'm very happy he's able to do that. And, you know, if one more is here, then hopefully we both can be on it or, or myself or whatever it is. But I definitely want to be fighting. My fighting in, in Sydney would be great. Thank you. No worries. Thank you.